And as the Lakers entered the building, there was a fierce look in their eyes. That's the look of a team out to defend its home court. A familiar sight, the flow of traffic cutting through downtown Los Angeles. Happy Halloween and welcome to In... basketball on 2k sports nothing scary about this matchup this is brian anderson joined courtside by grant hill and clark kellogg our reporter tonight ali laforce and now a look at the upcoming schedule for the los angeles lakers on wednesday they'll defend home court against the utah jazz and then on thursday they head out on the road to face the mavericks in dallas what a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. Before we get started, we've got just enough time to head over to the sideline. Allie? Hey, B.A. Carl Anthony Towns is in a new phase. He said, I've had the time to mess up. And Good stuff, Allie. Thanks for that. Basketball on Halloween night. Always a spirited affair. Grant, serious question here now. When you look back, which costume got you the most treats, partner? Of course. That's easy, B.A. I had the Michael Jackson Thriller jacket. I went as Michael Jackson. I got all the candy, and I threw in a moonwalk as well. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. In the backcourt is Russell and Edwards. McDaniels out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Los Angeles, LeBron James out there with Will Barton. Then it's Anthony Davis, then it's Kendrick Nunn, and it's Beverly in at the point. Now here's Barton. Left side Davis, pass to James. The Lakers with the rebound. Second chance shot, it's blocked by Gobert. Out of bounds, as Los Angeles keeps possession. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Here's Barton. Shot clock at six. Another shot. Three misses in a row. Still looking for their first bucket. Here's Russell. Count it. One for the one to start the game. Russell. Well, I tell you what, such a smooth, tight handle. I mean, especially for a guy with a 6'5 frame and 6'9 wingspan. Pass to Davis. Over Gobert. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. Well, they better be thinking about him. I mean, we know how dangerous he is. Edwards, a pass to Russell. Now Gobert. To the middle. Stolen by Davis. And it's the Lakers on the break. Oh! LeBron. And the jam by James! It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down, especially when he decides to do it with a little flavor. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great sendback. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. Beverly for three. Got a piece of it. Pass to McDaniels. Shoots over Barton. McDaniels can't hit. The Lakers have gone only two of seven so far. A cold start. Edwards against none. Comes up empty down low. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. It's Edwards on the wing. Over none. Here's Gobert. Second shot opportunity. And Davis with the block. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his first foul. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. EA and Anthony Davis, you got a big man who can give you 28 a game and contend for defensive player of the year. Enough said. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. 
clock at six. Inside. Here's Davis. McDaniels with the rebound. And Davis standing 6'10 with a 7'6 wingspan. His sphere of influence, let's call it, is gigantic. B.A., I love that phrase, sphere of influence. And that's exactly what A.D. had. Multiple first-time all-defense selections and rightfully so. This guy gets it done in both ends. He's taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. The Lakers trail. James, right side. It's good. LeBron James has got the second bucket on the night. You know, LeBron in the paint, I think, is major trouble for just about every defender. He can power his way to the basket, or he can pass you into being dizzy. Towns can't get it to go. And so it's the Lakers with it. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. And they'll meet three times overall. A little bit of a tone setter here tonight. The first time you face a team in the season, that's when you're looking to take that mental advantage. Demonstrate you're better. And that could make it easier down the road. Here's Towns. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Over James. Nails the oh, wide open jumper. High percentage shooter from the field. Towns recognizes what good shot selection is. Beverly against Russell. Beverly, the pass to Davis. Yep, that one goes. Davis has got six. The Timberwolves have gone three of seven so far. Pass to Edwards. Now here's Towns. Checked by James. Outside Edwards. Russell from outside. Sinks the tray. He's got five. Three. Russell does a good job taking whatever the defense avails. He doesn't need to look for other options if he's got a good look. And here's Davis. Here's James. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feet. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. And Minnesota calls time here. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's hear it, fans. For Minnesota, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Pass to McDaniels. Towns down low. Check by James. Towns gets the bucket. Excellent job by Towns to stick with it. He didn't let the defender get to him there. Beverly outside. Here's Barton. Here's Davis. Defended by Gobert. Davis, the pass to none. Again, the Lakers. Strong pass there to set up the basket. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to McDaniels. It's Edwards on the wing. None defends. Count it. Good. Anthony I just Edwards. love his approach coming into tonight. Focused and aggressive. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Back to Beverly. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Russell. And it's McDaniels off the drive. Here's Towns. And a nice finish on the layup. Oh, Towns, Towns has got six. Towns attacks the basket with such a ferocity and never give up attitude. I love that about him, guys. Hey, yo, right Pass to Barton. And Gobert with a block. And just a top-tier shot blocker in the league. Gobert's massive wingspan is a huge reason why he wipes away all those shots. McDaniels from long range. Rebounded by the Lakers. Defeated by Utah in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. You know, in that game, it was just too much disparity in effort level between the two teams, especially on the glass. You know, I think that was the big difference in the game. One team was pounding the glass relentlessly, while the other team, not so much. Russell. James with the rebound. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting the rock around 41% during the first quarter. Pass to Beverly. Back to Davis. 
over Edwards, and Davis gets it to go on the assist from Beverly. Give him eight. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Here's McDaniels. Edwards with it. Over none. Edwards can't hit. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. None with a bucket. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well, knows what's coming, and usually always makes the right pass. Now here's Russell. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Towns has got eight. And at four or five now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. Now Los Angeles with it. The Lakers time out, time out. call timeout. Call for the Lakers. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Who won Absolutely. The over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. And the Lakers going with a whole new group out there. Back to Westbrook. Just five to shoot. Launches it. Minnesota with a rebound. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. And they proved it that game. Here's Toscano. Minnesota foul. Jaden McDaniel. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. The Lakers with the ball. Here's Toscano. Six on the shot clock. Back to Bryant. Puts up a three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. McDaniels got four rebounds now. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. The 17-footer. That one no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Pass to McLaughlin. Westbrook outside. To the inside. Here's Tillman. Here's Martin. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Four on the clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. And he gets the bucket. And the Lakers lead by two. That's three buckets in a row. Off assist. It's McDaniels on the wing. Left side Anderson. To the paint. Picked it out of midair. Here's Toscano. Martin misses. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Reed can't hit. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Over to the wing. Down low. Here's Bryant. Second chance effort. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And it's McLaughlin missing. The Lakers in the lead. Inside. And then Bryant with the dunk. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's McLaughlin. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. To the inside, Anderson takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Bryant in the high post. Pass to Toscano. 
Here's Tillman. Anderson covers. Here's Westbrook. Uses the glass on the layup. And the Lakers lead by seven. Westbrook has really honed his ball handling skills, so now he's able to create very well off the dribble. And so it's Los Angeles closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. They've been aggressive in transition. Well, the old saying is defense wins championships. But you ask LeBron. This is more delicate than defense. Defense, you can make mistakes but cover for one another by just communicating and flying around at times and clean up for your mistakes offensively. If you're not all five guys at the same time and not moving and cutting and one pass or, you know, one bad uh, screen here or one pass there could mess up the rhythm of an offense. And the best teams work together at both ends, Grant. But which end did you generally feel most in sync with your teammates, offense or defense? Oh, you're putting me on the spot, B.A. I'll say offense. I mean, I've played in Phoenix with Steve Nash, so uh, definitely yeah. offense at that point in my career. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. On the court for the Timberwolves, second quarter underway. Kyle Anderson is out there with Nas Reed. Then there's McDaniels. Then it's Jordan McLaughlin. And the shot goes down. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting the ball at 48% so far. Reed with the rebound. The Timberwolves trail. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Here's McLaughlin, pounded by Westbrook. McDaniels from long range. That one's off. He's 0 for 3 now. The Lakers with the ball. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. That'll be the end of a three-game homestand. Westbrook outside. The rebound by the Timberwolves. McDaniels got six rebounds in the game. Closed it in on two minutes played here in the second. Three-pointer. McLaughlin's shot is good. McLaughlin's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Westbrook outside. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Lakers lead by four. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Oh, and Bryant with the block. The drive by Westbrook. Shoots over Reed. Westbrook, that's good. Westbrook's got eight points. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Lakers? You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. Also, they've been active defensively, applying pressure and coming away with some steals. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. McDaniels, that's good. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Pass to Tillman. Westbrook outside. Here's Bryant. Here's Martin. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And they'll get another chance. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, The Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales agreement was stipulation that the teams remain in Minnesota, something that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Oh, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many 
preseason. I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Gobert's checked in for Reed. Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Anderson. Anthony Edwards is checked in for McDaniels. And Russell is subbed in for McLaughlin. The Timberwolves have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Davis against Russell. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. The Lakers have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. And he lobs it up. And Davis slams it home. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Outside Russell. Stolen by Davis. Martin outside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Anthony Edwards. It's on Anthony Edwards. Well, you look at Barton's game and you appreciate how all around it is. He can stretch the floor. He rebounds both ends of the floor, makes plays for others. He's an X-factor kind of guy for, for this team. Well, another thing you like about Barton, Clark, he seems to play with a chip on his shoulder. Well, it's something, B.A. I mean, when you've got a hunger that's born of wanting to prove yourself, that um, makes a difference at the highest level. He succeeded through hard work and persistence, and that's how he plays, and that's how he continues to contribute the way he does. None. The pass to Jane. On the wing, Barton, guarded by Edwards. Five on the clock. Goes up. Off the left rim and out. Minnesota's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Here's Russell. And Davis with the block. Here's Barton. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone a rock. Outside for Russell. Towns up top. Back to Russell. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Edwards can't hit. And it seemed like they lost track of time. The shot clock, in that case, got the better of them. The whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's foul number two for him. Now Beverly. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And here's Barton. Back to none. 4-3. Well, I like the effort that Edwards is making to commit to defense, not letting the shooter get by him. The Timberwolves have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Here's Russell. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. None against Edwards. Out to the right wing. Back to none. Six to shoot. Pass to Beverly. Let's the three fly. That one doesn't drop. The Timberwolves trail. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And we all know how explosive Edwards can be. Reminding us there with that thunderous slam. And for the Lakers, they're shooting just 27% in the second quarter. Here's James. Edwards pulls it in. For Minnesota, they've gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. Oh, misses the dunk. Los Angeles shooting only 39% so far in the game. And Davis slams it home. Oh, things really rolling for AD now. This could be a big night for him. Here's Russell. And he banks in the layup. Russell's got seven points in the game. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. James passes to Davis. Barton outside. Outside none. And stolen by Gobert. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. Russell from outside. And another three for Minnesota. 
you know, this has become a real weapon for Russell now, and it's because he's worked hard on this shot. Oh, there's the alley! And, and finished off by Davis. LeBron a great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. To the paint. Here's Gobert. He's now one for two Ooh, with that Gobert. bucket. Yeah, you look at Russell, and one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. Russell against Beverly. Outside none. Oh, and Towns with the block. Aggressive defense from Towns there, staying all over the shot and getting a clean block. That puts him in the lead. Oh, He's Towns. got 10. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Timberwolves. Guys, it's been great hustle defense throughout two quarters of play, contesting everything and racking up the block shots as well. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. It's blocked by Gobert. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Another oh, basket. Anthony He's now Towns. six for seven in the contest. Oh, and Grant, Towns. you were named co-rookie of the year Edwards. alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Nah, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time. But it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Russell, the pass to Towns. Let's a floater go. Shot clock at five. Pass to Edwards. And another three from Minnesota. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Yeah, and it should help them increase their separation here. I mean, this has been an impressive offensive output. James passes to Nunn. That ball. Nice feed right that time from James. James, James has got four assists now tonight. Time and Minnesota calls, calls Minnesota. time here. Some changes now for the Lakers. Bryant, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. Martin comes in for Barton. And it's Westbrook in for Beverly. Edwards against Nunn. Pass to McLaughlin from behind the arc. And the three-pointer goes. McLaughlin's got six here in the quarter. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Here's Nunn. Drives to the hoop. No stopping him there. Gives it in. Opportunity in a three-point play. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert picks one That's up. That's his first personal foul. The fourth team foul. At the line for the Lakers, Kendrick Nunn. At the line for one. Minnesota's got it going from distance in the second quarter. Four or five from deep. Pass to Gobert. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. Incredible balance on that take. you got to respect watching Gobert muscle his way through the defense. None against Edwards. Westbrook, the pass to none. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. none has got 12 points. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Westbrook against Edwards. He gets it up. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The T-Wolves on top, leading by four. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Carl, you were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? 
I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. What a start it was for Carl Anthony Towns. He had 12 points, two block shots, and four rebounds. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? They run this offense seamlessly. These guys seem to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball, and I can give a shout-out to the playmakers. This team's success. And that's a wrap with the third quarter. And we're ready to get this second half of our Halloween broadcast going. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. They've got Kendrick Nunn, LeBron James out there with Will Barton. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Beverly in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Really important for this team to get production from Edwards. When he's aggressive in scoring the ball, they go to another level. Shooting for Minnesota, Anthony Edwards. The first free throw is good. At the line for two. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Lakers trail. Beverly with it. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds. Last Lakers touch ball. by Gobert. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Beverly, the pass to Barton. Now James. The kick out to none. Five to shoot. Throws it up high. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got a rebound number five here tonight. Russell, the pass to Edwards. Here's McDaniels. He's guarded by Barton. And they're able to recover. Not only does Davis have great skill, but he is tremendously agile. He can get shots from just about anywhere on the court. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Definitely saved the layup with that foul. And they'll make him earn them from the line. And that's what you want to see. Los Angeles shooting 41% in this game. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. Towns. And Davis with the block. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Martin, the pass to none. Pass to Davis. Martin outside. Over McDaniels. The Lakers with another miss. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. Edwards against none. Ooh, give him his fifth That's make of the game Edwards. in 10 attempts. Well, the defense trying to throw Edwards off with some contact, but he smartly stays focused on his shot. Here's James again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Towns passes to Russell. Back to Towns. 
Here's the three. The shot, no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. Pass to Davis. Now, here is James. Oh, LeBron hammers him home. Tell you what, if he's within shouting distance of the basket, he's going to get his buckets. You can count on that. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Now Towns. Got it. Good job oh, at the low post. Time out. Towns has got 14. Tell you what, he has been time feeling out. it, guys. Oh, and the Lakers. best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. And the Lakers call time here. Boy, you got to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Reeds checked in for Gobert. Beverly with it. Towns covering. And it's in there. Yeah, love seeing Beverly shoot off the pick there. I mean, all he needs is a sliver of daylight. Russell, the pass to Reed. Shoots over Davis. Misses off the right iron. The Lakers have got just two of six in the second half. To the middle. Here's none. It's blocked. None against Russell. Outside Edwards. Great D that time from Beverly. Well, the Lakers shooting a low 29% since halftime. Stolen by Russell. Pass to Towns. Stripped it away. And here's Davis. Over Towns. And too long on the shot. Russell against Davis. Here's McDaniels. Outside Edwards. Here's Towns. The Lakers with a rebound. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. None for the bucket. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Outside Russell. Pass to McDaniels. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nas Reed. That's his first foul. That's his first. For Los Angeles, they've gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Here's Tillman. Beverly with it from outside the arc. Reed with the rebound. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. A slam dunk by Reed. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Pass to Beverly. Launches a three. Here's Davis. The rebound by the Timberwolves. McDaniels got his seventh rebound here tonight. Takes it inside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Their passing also continues to be outstanding here in the second half. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. McLaughlin comes in for Russell. Back to Westbrook. The three ball. No good that time. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Pass to Bryant. Here's Martin, guarded by Edwards. Here's McLaughlin. He's got six. Now here's Edwards. Banked it in off the glass. Edwards. Edwards got six here in the quarter. 
Yeah, you know, once Edwards flips that switch, now he stays fully engaged. His offensive arsenal is on full display. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, Jordan that will McLaughlin. be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. Pass to Westbrook. Here's Martin. The three-pointer off the mark. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Lakers foul. None Two checked in for the Lakers. That's his first personal foul. The fourth team foul. Pass to Edwards. For your Lakers. Kendrick Nunn. Reed with it. Out left to the wing. Shot clock at six. McDaniels from long range. The Lakers with a rebound. It's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. None. The pass to Westbrook. And the layup is good. Westbrook's got ten points in the game. You know, even inside Westbrook, unstoppable. He plays with great confidence and also tremendous force for a guard. Outside Edwards. There's the triple. Westbrook with the rebound. Westbrook's got five rebounds tonight. Anderson pulls it down. If they just continue to dominate the ball. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. That's why they're ahead. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No pop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. The Lakers making a switch here. James is checked in. Boom! LeBron! He still got major bounce and force on the fly. Driving inside. It's Edwards on the wing. Covered by Bryant. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Gobert's checked in. In the 2020 draft, he was the number one pick. Many are excited about Edwards' potential. It's up to him to meet those expectations and maybe even exceed them. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra Ooh, emphasis. Okay. Maybe that'll this help them recapture their edge a little bit, guys. The Lakers trail. There's a minute 54 left to play in the third quarter. Pass to Martin. Now, here is James. And Gobert with a block. None against Edwards. Here's Anderson. And Russell Westbrook pulls it down. Westbrook's got six rebounds in the game. To the paint. Here's Bryant. The kick out to none. Takes a three. The shot, no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. And after this one, they're at home against Philadelphia. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. And 101 left in the third quarter. Counted. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed Jordan from point blank ball. range. Can't happen. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for him. 
the officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Barton, he's checked in for Martin. Known for racking up triple doubles, Westbrook continues to pile up incredible numbers. I mean, his intensity on a nightly basis is absolutely insane. Now they get Tedwards. Anthony Edwards. That's his third person. First one falls for him. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Good on both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's McLaughlin. Hounded by Westbrook. Outside Edwards. He got it up. No good on the buzzer beater. Anthony Edwards has been on display for Minnesota. Eight points in the quarter. Showing... Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Here's Westbrook. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. They've got D'Angelo Russell. Kyle Anderson is out there with Rudy Gobert. Then there's Edwards. And it's McLaughlin in at the two-guard spot. Russell against Nunn. Russell, the pass to Edwards. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got five assists in the game. Well, Edwards looking almost automatic there. Didn't wait too long to put that shot up. Pass to Barton. Now Westbrook. Bryant outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, and he blocks it out off of the bounds. glass. Wow. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yeah. As Los Angeles yeah. keeps possession. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis comes in for Bryant. And it's Beverly in for none. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Towns is checked in. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Outside Edwards. Pass to Towns. James with the block. Great anticipation that time from LeBron. He sees the shot forming and gets there to swat it down. And it's good. Two points. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Russell to pass to Towns. From down in the low post, it goes. Just a beautiful read by the former Buckeye Russell. So gifted at making those decisions. Inside, here's Davis, and counted, 8 of 14 now, he's rolling, and he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher, and his coach knows that too, showing no signs of slowing or cooling down, they're going to ride him as far as he can take him, and we're about two minutes into the fourth now, to the inside, and Beverly gets it to go. Beverly. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more Ooh, resistance Gobert. here. And this is why Gobert shoots a high percentage. Because he looks to finish with strength inside. Beverly against Russell. Pass to James. Over Towns. The shot by James. No good. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge. And in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Gobert with the bucket. Just an aggressive move by Gobert. Protecting the possession and getting the second chance look. Beverly, the pass to Davis. the arc. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Minnesota in the lead. Edwards, the pass to Towns. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Will Barton picks one up. Showing determination inside. Towns absorbs the contact and gets the whistle. 
And you look at Towns, he's been a fantastic outside shooter since coming into the league. It's a hallmark of what makes him so dangerous. He can do it inside, but he's a lethal jump shooter as well. Oh, and the jam by McCabe! It seems ages at times, guys. Somehow, some way, LeBron continues to rip off these insane sequences time and time again. Remarkable. And with Towns in a shooting, he's actually the Minnesota franchise leader for May 3. How about that? Oh, Took over dude. that record, VA, in 2021. Amazing on several levels, no matter how you look at that stat. The fact he's seven feet and the fact he did it so quickly, mind-blowing. Here's Anderson. Gobert in the high post. Six on the shot clock. Poke loose. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. To the wing, right side, and stolen by Gobert. Outside Edwards, he's still feeling it. The offensive rebound, Gobert with the bucket. They are just owning the boards right now. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. The Lakers have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Beverly finds James. Now Beverly, guarded by Russell, and here's James. Ooh, too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. Lakers ball. And so he hits the technical free throw. <laughs> They've definitely made free throws look easy here in the second half. James, rebounded by the Timberwolves. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Russell, the pass to Towns. And they're on the break. Westbrook with it, and it's Gobert picking him up. Davis with room to shoot. Knocks down the 18-footer. And here in the fourth, he's been zeroed in, hitting some big-time buckets. Now Russell, down low. Here's Towns. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Towns has got six points in the quarter. You know, Towns' teammates love seeing this. They encourage him to get after it and look to score more often. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Go Bear with the bucket. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. Right wing. And finished off by Davis. Yep, Westbrook seems to have a sixth sense with those kinds of openings. He knows exactly where the gap is and finds his teammate perfect. And Minnesota calls time here. That was a good time to call them out to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. And the Lakers making a change here. Martin's checked in. The Timberwolves also with a sub. McDaniels is checked in for Anderson. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch was going over with his team, and he implored them to be patient at the offensive end. He wants to use every second of the shot clock. He said, quote, if we take care of the ball and take our time and play D, this game is ours. Nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Beverly outside. Is James on the wing. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Towns for three. And another three oh, for Minnesota. Guys, this has been an incredible three. performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. James against Towns. And the layup falls. James has got six in the quarter. Yeah, you know, LeBron is such a talented finisher. The defense in that situation just unable to keep him from that shot. Back to Daniels. Outside Russell. Pass to Towns. Martin with a steal. Now the Lakers moving it up. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got his first two points of the night. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. The leaner, out of bounds. Out of It'll bounds. go to the Lakers. Lakers None is checked in for the Lakers. Coming into the hole for your Lakers. Kendrick Nunn. The Lakers trail. 
Beverly, the pass to Davis. Martin outside. Hits the front of the rim and out. Minnesota's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Towns for three. That falls. Nice oh, assist by Russell. Towns. Russell's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Outside none. Russell against Beverly. Back to none. Just five on the clock. Beverly outside. And again, the Lakers, no good. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. And he's going for the lob. And stolen by Gobert. Towns for three. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Beverly. And the layup is good off the glass. Beverly. And Beverly is a menace inside. I mean, incredibly crafty at finding ways to score down there. Russell against Beverly. Pass to McDaniels. Outside Russell. Clock at six. Here's Edwards. McDaniels from long range. Davis with a rebound. You know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. The three, James. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Outside Edwards. Back to Russell. Outside Edwards. Gobert passes to Towns. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. Los Angeles ball. Time running out for the Lakers. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. James passes to Barton. It's not going to go for him. And Minnesota will come the other way. Minnesota calls time here. They're leading by eight. 141 left in the game. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Rudy Gobert. And tonight he served as the anchor on the defensive end. The opposition didn't get the memo about his defensive skills clearly, <laughs> and he made them pay for it. He was just blocking shots away left and right out there. Man, if only he could play this well every night. This hometown crowd was not prepared for him to just go off like he did in this one. Pretty tricky and sweet pump fake move by Edwards there, pulling the defender in close to get the foul drawn. Good on the first, and that'll put him up by nine. Anthony. And both free throws good for Edwards. 133 left in the fourth quarter. Beverly with it. Russell covering. To the inside. And Davis gets it to go. On oh, the assist from Beverly. Davis has got eight points in the quarter. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Russell to pass to Towns. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Towns has got 30. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up in a strong showing for the Timberwolves. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seize full control of this game. To B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough, and of course, they closed strong. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously. And the next two matchups between these two should be fun. Okay, quite that simple though. Your team coming out on the losing end of game one is just that much more motivated to get even in game two and three. So I think the edge goes to the losing team. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Rudy Gobert. Well, he was swatting shots all game long. Really owned the defensive end and got a ton of blocks and really protected that rim. And finished off by Davis. 
Anthony LeBron Davis showing you he's in control when the spotlight is on. Outside Edwards from deep. Pass to McDaniels. Russell with the ball. Beverly defending. Shot clock at five. And here's Edwards. None defends. Oh, wow. Unable to get off a shot. They'll turn it over. Very unfortunate time there to pick up a shot clock violation. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're trailing by three. Five ticks left to play in the fourth quarter. And there's James from the arc. This is the tray. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock. Here. And no good. As the first free throw misses, we'll see if he can hit the second. A defensive stalwart. Gobert knows this team expects him to be their anchor as well as rebound the rock. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're behind by three. One second left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what do you think? No choice but to go for the three. Maybe set up a screen to carve out some space and get a clean look. And so it's Minnesota who scrapes by with a win. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? All right, I'm with Carl Anthony Downs. Carl, congratulations on the victory. What was key in getting the win here tonight? Uh, I mean, we played like we wanted it more. You know, we came out here and we just did a lot of great defensive stops. It wasn't offensive, it was more defensively. We did a great job. We got the 50-50 balls, uh, put us in a nice position. We can see and feel that desperation. Congrats on the win. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. So long, everybody.